Hey guys, Mousearts here, and welcome back to Guild Rock. Crashed a little bit there. So I've worked a little bit off camera. So over back at the base, which I haven't, but I wasn't at like at all last episode, I started working on another building. I want this to be my storage place. I this was a temporary mushroom thing. I was just kind of freestyling, and I'm keeping it there for now. But um, this is gonna be my storage place. But I need so much smooth sandstone, um, so I thought I should probably make a super smelter, or at least a lot of furnaces and a way to get a lot of fuel. So I'm gonna make a kelp farm. I'm not gonna follow tutorial, I'm just gonna kind of go for it. Because I think you can use the kelp to fuel getting more kelp, and then you can use that. I think it's a pretty good way. But I also have a bunch of eggs. Um, and I think there's only one appropriate way to use these. I mean, granted, this isn't actually that many. I don't think I'm going to get very much. But, um, yeah. I AFK'd for like two hours to get, like, get my time up. Um, so let's just go in here. You know. Arcus won't mind, I'm sure. Oh! This wasn't even me! But, okay. Let's just, uh... What room would be the most fitting to start in? This is the center area. I'm just gonna throw the eggs straight at the ceiling. This is a decent amount. Hopefully they'll spread out into the different areas. And yeah, it'll be kind of funny. There's also, I don't know who put these original ones in here, but I'm not complaining. Anyways, back at my base, I think I'm just gonna dig an area underground. So it's kind of just inconspicuous. I don't have to design a building for it. Like I can just, Go down here. I, it doesn't have to be too big, realistically. I just want to get some kelp. Oh no. Did I lose everything? I'm thinking I lost everything. Oh! I didn't lose everything. I have nothing but a hoe. Um, when did I die? Okay, let's make an iron sword quickly. Um, I'm guessing most of the tools and stuff on me are gone now. Okay. Oh, I had quite a bit of stuff on me, didn't I? Oh... How much did I lose? I lost quite a bit. Oh, my pickaxe and all my tools. My elytra. Ooh. I built this, though. I'm still working on it. I mean, I'm most upset about the building materials, honestly. Like, ugh. I had all of my... I had so much wood. I had all my glow mushroom thingies on me. Okay, I still got all this smooth sandstone that I whipped up. I made the kelp farm, by the way. It's absolutely atrocious. And also, we already had one. I didn't know that. Yeah, I've been gone for like literally like 3 or 4 hours, and I've gotten 2 stacks and 11. Oh, I'm gonna have to get everything back again. Well, not everything, but most things. Time for shopping spree with my 31 diamonds that I have left. Alright, we got pickaxe back that, like, fresh out of diamonds now, but all is well except for the resources I lost. I also think I got a ton more eggs, probably. Yes, I did. Time to go fill Arcus's base. Alright, we have quite a few chickens throughout this base now. Uh, they're all kind of clumped together a little bit. Because the ones that have grown up uh, are being chased by all the youngins. But hopefully they'll all grow up and kind of divvy themselves out. But yeah, before I was rudely interrupted with death... Uh, I need to get another bucket, too. Um, I was working on the next building of my little base area. I should really get something on this roof so that snow can't get... Grown, not grown, but you know. But yeah, I want this to be my storage 
place. That'll probably not get used at all very much. I just realized I lost a ton of nether wart, I think. These nether wart blocks. They're pretty cheap, uh, but I am also poor now. But yeah, um, I'm kind of spreading this terrain. Uh, I want to finish this storage building, then I want to move this chicken farm into a more open range and slower design over here. Cause I, I just wanted to do the whole bit with Arcus, and I've kind of done that now. So I'd like to make like a chicken pen over here, which kind of no longer works because there's a kelp thing over there, but just has like a uh, minecart hopper going around underneath collecting the eggs. And then I want this path right here to continue and I want there to be like stairs here with like two towers. I think that'd look pretty epic. Something over here probably. I, I don't really know what I'm going for. It's kind of turned into some kind of alien planet just cuz I mean the orange and blue the color or the block and color palette just like really fit an alien looking aesthetic and I I'm kind of here for it. Um do act a little bit strange sometimes so it does make sense. But oh, I lost still quite a bit of. Let, let, I'm I'm gonna do the interior. I'm gonna do that now. Maybe even time lapse it since I'm actually recording for once. Yeah. <laughs> It is done. The storage room. I don't have the uh, insides. I don't have like these actually filled with anything or marked yet. And I don't actually know if I'll end up using this this much. Um, because I'm horrible with storage. I'll try it and things will go well for like a month or whatever. And then either I'll give up halfway through. Like something will get unorganized and I just give up because I can't be bothered to reorganize all of it. Or I outgrow the storage and I need more. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah. I think it's looking pretty good. I mean, the interior is plain. That's because it's just meant to be a bunch of chests that I can sort through to get my storage and stuff. I also did find more shroom lights. There were some down in the guild area. I just robbed everything from my guild members. I'm going to be real. So yeah, I think it, I think it fits the vibe well. It's definitely different than the my actual base, which I still haven't done the interior for. But uh, I think it, it fits the feeling, and right now they feel kind of opposite, but once I get some more buildings placed in, uh, they'll look more like they're part of a, a whole thing instead of just two buildings that are meant to be the same but different. I got a couple other things. One main thing that I think I'm going to do this episode, or at least start, and that is the Wild Avion Safari Park. Um, so I started a naming scheme. We have the Weird Alien Storage Place, the Widely Aglow Star Perceiver, I've renamed my starter base, and we're going to have the Wild Avion uh, Safari Park, and this little alien looking place is going to be known as Wasp. Um, why? Because I named this place the Weird Alien Storage Place, and I was like, that spells out Wasp, so I changed this to Widely Aglow Star Perceiver, and there's going to be the Wild Avian Safari Pla or Park. Um, so yeah, that's the place's name now. The only trouble is I want to build the park, the the Wild Avian Safari Park right here. Um and I kind of want it to be like it takes you on a minecart around this whole area. Like um probably like from here down to here and around here. Um and there's like a minecart, you can kind of see different places. I think that'd be kind of funny. So I'm going to do that, I guess. Now, while I work on this, uh, one other thing I do also want to do is I want to start trying to find a secretary 
for um the Locky Coin Empire because or not a secretary. I have a secretary. I have P. But um uh a treasurer, that's what it is. Somebody to look over our funds and make sure they're all being spent in the right place and make sure we're actually gaining money and whatever else a treasurer does. And I think that'd be good. Just probably not now because the sheriff and deputy are online. I have now covered this little gap here. Made the terrain flow a little more seamlessly. Uh, not over here though. Right here there's just a big gap. I think it would be cool though if I... I literally just had this uh, idea now. I didn't have this before recording this clip. But if I made like a little wasp in, like alien cave through here. Like have it pop out there. Uh, I don't know if it would be part of the safari. That would maybe be pretty cool. That could be part of an expansion later. There is a, a lot of mobs though, as you can see. So I'm gonna go down there and light that up real quick. Um, I've showed up at the sheriff's office. For reasons I don't know. I was gonna go get red sand, but I figured I'd stop by here. Just to see if there's any funny business. And both the sheriff and the deputy are here. So I feel like I probably shouldn't be here. I'm just I'm just kinda stalking them from the top of the water tower. This I think this is a water tower, but there's no water inside. That it's it it frustrates me so much. It looks like a water tower. Do they have any clue I'm here? I know the others saw me. Redstone slime and who else was it? Tanilita. Tanilta? I I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But do the do the sheriff do the sheriff and deputy know that I'm here? They have for sure noticed me. Okay. I'm I'm hiding under the desk. <laughs> well, is what is this even a desk? I don't know what this is. He didn't see me. He didn't see me. He didn't see me. He didn't see me. <laughs> uh oh. Maybe I should put my shield back on. Uh oh. I've locked myself in. Okay. Well, there was nothing of use in there anyways. It was worthless. Good thing you can't punch me through glass. I was I was going to go work on the wasp, the wild avian safari park. A little bit more, but I came back to. Ch oh. Oh, is this the book Arcus? Arcus rewrote. Is this the rewritten chronicle? Oh. It's been three days now, and this book fell from the sky. Well, I think it's the sky. I couldn't tell which way is up. That's besides the point, though. There seems to be random invisible portals around that bring through random objects from time to time. Hopefully, I'll be able to find my way back using these portals. It worked when escaping the... P.S. Here is a picture of <laughs> Was this... Who is this? Oh, that's quite the face. Yours truly. Something. Day 15. Apologies for that last page. I was rather tired. I've been wondering what to do if I get out of this place. Where will I end up? Will it still be season 7? Will I even be in the same universe? Same galaxy? I'm not sure. And I'm starting to lose it. Clearly, because I feel like you'd put galaxy before universe. Either way. <laughs> Either way, I'm stuck in a stupid void with nothing but a book and my own blood. Oh, this is written in blood. Let me out, yours. Help, 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 help. Day 100, I think. I found a pen. I'm bored. I'm very bored. I'm very bored. This book is my only friend now. He even has a face. He's very quiet. Too quiet. Am I losing it? Am I losing the plot? No. I don't like my new friend. I don't even know his name. All I do is draw on him. Poor guy. No free will. No power. It's sad, really. I wonder if the others miss 
me. I've decided to put the book through a portal and hope it gets found. Don't trust the portal. Th they are not your friends. Use your Lytra. Do not enter Lock Manor under any circumstances. Yours. Lockley. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. I mean, I haven't. As far as I remember, nobody's heard from Lockley in like ages. He's just not been around. I thought. Whoa. Um, so. So I've been holding on to Lockley's skull. It's been assumed Lockley's skull. Um, I think the general consensus is he was dead. But now this book is saying otherwise, why do I have a dead man's skull if the dead man's not dead? Is this even Lockley's skull? I had the assumption it was Lockley's skull. I feel like the only logical thing to do is to go to Lock Manor under circumstances. Whoa, where is Lockley? What what is Lockley? Maybe I shouldn't be wearing the skull. All right, I'm putting this in my ender chest. Next episode we're going to Lock Manor. We're going to very swiftly ignore that entirely and go back and work on the wasp. I know I just said that I was going to go back and work on that, and I did, but uh, I'm, I'm back here because I'm ending off the episode. I kind of planned it out poorly. My bad. But, um, good episode. I'm going to go back to the wasp in a moment and show that off. But next episode, I am going to talk with P, and I think we're going to go to Lock Manor. As Lockley, Father Locke, has directed us exactly not to do. Uh, but I also want to turn this in to the sheriff or deputy. I know that uh, we aren't exactly pals with the whole Lockley coin thing right now. But, uh, it's kind of seems pretty severe. And I, along with the sheriff and deputy, care about the safety of our players. So I'm going to keep it in the inner chest for now. And I'll go back and show you the wasp. Alright, here I am inside of the Wild Avian Safari Park. This is, I, I really enjoy this, it's kind of funny, I'll run through everything. So, in the actual park itself, the Safari Park, there are eight chickens. Uh, uh, these names are Genius, um, Polygon, Sucra, Bounce, Wesley, Lockley, ba oh I already did Bounce, Woopoo, my personal favorite behind uh, Lockley. Mudster, Aquantus, David or the First. And. No, where is it? Luis. Yep. All eight of them. Beautiful. Now you can go on actual safari rides here. If you go up to the Chicket Master, <laughs> get it? Because chicken and ticket. It's Chicket. Yeah. You can go press this. Get yourself a wasp chicket. You can throw it on there. Gate opens for you. Sometimes you don't make it through. Sometimes you do. It varies. Uh, they're all clumped at the start, which is unfortunate. I asked why that was, and I was told it was because they were scared of me. <laughs> Made me kind of sad. But you can hop in this minecart, you can press this button, and across you go on your safari ride. There is all of them. You know, very, very fun. You get to go across this park and not see them at all. Oh, this guy's coming. Which one are you? I'm not sure. But we come down here. It's a little bit of ruined wall there. I wonder what that's about. It stops you right here so you can look at the chickens more if they're actually down here. It speeds you up. You break through the wall. Down here. Takes you through a cave. Boom, boom, boom. Reverses you back up here. You enter back into the park. Go back up. You see all the chickens one more time. Which one were you? I can't tell. You're just barely out of reach. And you slowly but surely... I forgot to fill that in. Shh, you didn't see that. And boom, you're back. Oh, I love it. It's, it's, it's very short and sweet. 
But but I do love it quite a bit. I wanted to do a bit more. Ah, go away, dirt. Then I got to do with the cave portion. Uh, I might throw a bit more stuff in here and brighten it up a little bit. But in here, this orange section is meant to be. So so Wasp is an alien planet, and um the one thing, oh, wandering trader, the one thing that this alien planet and Earth has in common is that they both have chickens. That's right, chickens are natural to the wasp planet thing. Uh, but the way their chickens work are entirely different. See, their eggs are big and in clumps underground in these orange sections. So these are chicken eggs. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to disrupt them, but because the safari breaks through the door, or the wall, and comes down here, you know, it's... Oh, it's... Uh, I think it's quite genius world building on my part. So yeah, that is the Wasp, not 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 the widely a glow star perceiver, the weird, weird alien storage place, which completely ignore the fact, please, that I am just using shulker boxes and none of the actual chests. We're just going to ignore that. I'm talking about the Wild Avian Safari Park, not the other two. They're all Wasp, I know. And I'm not talking about the planet as a whole. This Wasp that says Wasp on the outside. Come through, you can get your chicken absolutely free from the chicken master because he's just kind like that. And you can come experience this wonderful, wonderful ride. I'm also thinking about maybe selling the chickens at some point. Not Lockley, though. I would keep Lockley. But, you know, just, like, auctioning off these absolute legends of chickens. I think that's funny. And then replacing them with new ones later on. But, yeah, I, I, I love this. It's goofy and it's short and it's sweet. But I think when, when, when you're explained, like, what it is and stuff, uh, it really helps kind of build the world of what Wasp is. I, I think it's pretty cool. So that being said, I am going to end off the episode here. Just heard a zombie over there. These plants are getting too tall. I'm getting distracted. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, I was going to post uh, Double One Life today. What's that? I didn't say anything there. But that'll be out soon. I just wanted to get this episode finished. I'm also sorry that I didn't get any interactions with anybody else really in this episode. I was planning on it, but again, wanted to get this episode out because I want to work on more Lockley stuff next episode. I think this episode I want to just kind of kick back and return to the base a little bit. And now I want to get into the Lockley stuff because a lot of stuff is happening with that, both with the Lockley Coin Empire and the Lockley Tower, and with Father Lock Lockley himself. Also, although Arcus saw the chickens in their basement and it was really funny. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll link that stream in the description. Uh, I don't know the timestamp for when it's at, but it's somewhere in there. <laughs> so again, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you want more. And I will see you all later. Goodbye!